Genesis of the home, this project I'm working on currently for the homeless, which we've been offered a, uh, a show at the Panavidra uh, Cultural Center, came from this Christmas card I sent out this past year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. But uh, the message is on the front, because homeless are now just, uh, aren't just hobos anymore. Homeless are, are middle class. And I'm limited to this little camera and the computer because I'm not out shooting, you know, under the bridge type of thing, which I'd be shooting in the inner city and so forth. So what I decided to do was use myself as the model for to start with to kind of give birth to the project. And so I created some different illusions and I shot them, shot myself through this little camera on the computer. And this is one of them, which was just an old rug. I pulled up over my head, set the lighting to where you can't tell who, you know, what it is, except a pair of eyes looking out at you, which is kind of the feeling you get from homeless folks. They're like unknown. They're not even numbers because most of the time they're not counted in the census. So they're just their eyes peering out, questioning, you know, why they're there. And a local artist, uh, Lo Lois uh, Simon, contacted me. I said, God, that card really made me think. And she said, could you do something else with that type of an image? Make a Christmas card, make a banner for the homeless. So this image here, can be used uh, in conjunction with the homeless. And uh, hopefully some people might ask that personal question, what can I do to help these people and maybe not look at it with judgment. Because now, you know, the, the issue with homeless crosses all socioeconomic stratus. And so I'm limited now because of my Parkinson's disease of getting out shooting. homeless for a period of time. During that period, I realized that there were a class of people that wandered through life who were never recognized, they're just strangers. And when you're 15 years old, kids that would hang out with you would be other dropout kids or adults that are maybe misdirected. And so you start looking around you and start evaluating what are your options. And a lot of people don't see their options. which I've gone from movie making 35 millimeter film cameras for hundreds of thousands of dollars to using a iPod camera, which I'll become famous for using the iPod camera, I'm sure. <laughs>